Hi everyone. Good morning. Hello. Hi. It's Lindsay and Peter <laughs> from Edward Bear. Yes, it is. We can't see you. Can't see you round at the church centre, but we can we jolly well see you here. Absolutely, yes. And Christine and Irene and Janet and Caroline and Lynn and every Amy and Joan and everybody who comes to Edward Bear to help. And Janet. And Amanda and, oh, and yeah, Duncan. Oh, everybody. <laughs> we're all thinking about you and miss you loads. Anyway, we're going to have Edward Bear this morning now, and so we're going to sing our song. We're pleased to see you at Edward Bear, Edward Bear, Edward Bear. Pleased to see you at Edward Bear, at Edward Bear on a Thursday. First of all, we come to church, come to church, come to church. First of all, we come to church at Edward Bear on a Thursday. We light the candles and ring the bell. We do light the candles and ring the bell. Oh, yes. Now we have a candle here. Look, here it is. And Peter's got a new candle lighter, which I think is going to Very do something posh. terrible. So here we <laughs> are. We're going works. to see if we can light the candle. <laughs> Who's so, this for? I don't think that's going to light. Hang on. Let's have a Let's go. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's light this one. I think we'll light this one, Peter. Okay. Here we are. We're going to light this candle. Now, who do we light it for? Watch out. You know, don't you? Go on, Peter, do it's it. It's got to be Jesus. Whoops, hang on. Go on, Peter. Off you go. No, it's not lit. Not Try lit. again. Try again. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. With his blow torch. Like a flame Here flower, we are. Isn't it? We've lit the candle. <laughs> it's a bit frightening. Well, it actually, was frightening, but, but but who we lit it for wasn't frightening. No, who have we lit it for, Peter? Janet we says. We all know it's for Jesus. It's for Jesus. Yeah. And we bring absolutely. Jesus into our hearts and heads, into our heads yeah. and our and thoughts. Fact, and all around and us. And our hearts and all around us. Mm -hmm. He's right there with you. You can't see him. No, we can't see him here, but mm. we know he's here he's because he's with us, us yeah. and his love is with us, and we know that. And because we can't seem to light the other candle at this time as well, well let's give it a try. Shall look, we? a try. Should we try? Yeah, come on. Yeah, okay. Let's try. Here we go, Peter. Go on. With my flamethrower. It's very scary, Peter. Boy, scary. If only you could do it, Peter. Oh, look. Is it lighting? Let's see if it's lit. Let's stop now. I think the candle's going right. to melt. <laughs> oh, no. It's just a lot of smoke. No, no. Well, with our lovely candle, Maybe not today. <laughs> we'll think about all of you over there who've got birthdays. And anybody in your family who's got a birthday. And some nice candles, perhaps. And, they can and light. birthday candles. <laughs> yes. And also, let's think about people who aren't very well. So somebody in your house or somebody that you love or know might not be feeling very well today. So let's think about them and hope they get better really soon. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Maybe, I think that's ring lovely. the bell. Oh, light the candle oh. and ring, ring the, the bell. bell. Wow. That's woken everybody <laughs> up. Sound. The bell always rings everybody in Ashbourne and Wake it reminds Ashbourne up, yes. them, doesn't it? Absolutely. That Every we're all Thursday awake. morning. It's really good, isn't Edward it? Edward Bear is here. That's right. Now then. Also today, I just wanted to remind you um, that um, Edward Bear still can't meet, but it will be doing very soon, we hope. But up until then, we have to be very patient. OK, I'm going to move that to one side. Now, I can't remember, Peter, whether we do the story or we do the songs first. What do we do? Well, you normally sneak in a song that I don't right. know. Right. <laughs> OK. Well, we're, going, we're, going, to, he's going, to, we're going to sing a couple of songs this morning. <laughs> and I thought we'll sing the one about I went to visit the zoo one day. Oh, good. I certainly okay. don't know that one. <laughs> right. I know. So some of our lovely children and their mums and dads. I bet they and know it. Brothers and sisters, they yeah, know it. Yeah, of course it. they will. Absolutely. <laughs> I went to visit the zoo one day, I saw a yeah. lion upon the way, and what do you think the lion did say? <laughs> wow, that's frightening, isn't it? Goodness me. I went to visit the zoo one day, I saw an elephant <laughs> on the way, and what do you think the elephant did say? <laughs> <laughs> that's really good, actually. A bit yes, frightening. Yeah. Last one. Oh, no. I went to visit the zoo one day, I saw a snake oh, up on snakes. the way, and what do you think oh, the no. snake did say? <laughs> That was good, wasn't it? Yes, that was very, very good. Mm. I think we'll do wind the bobbing up as well, because we like that, don't we? We try and get all the directions correct this time. <laughs> wind the bobbing up, wind the bobbing up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. 
Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. Clap your hands together. Two, three, pop your hands up on your knee. Wow, that was so cool. Well, before we do anything else, I think we're going to have a story. And Peter's written another Edward Bed story. Yes. So I'm going to move to the side while he tells it to you. So I hope you're listening. Well, this is chapter five, believe it or not. We've had four other stories. Stories about Edward becoming increasingly involved in Edward Bear and loving it, loving meeting the children and being with the children and learning all about what goes on and about this person called Jesus who he never sees and he thinks he's missed out on all of the action but he's beginning to learn something about Jesus now and this story is about Edward Bear is going to the wedding. It's a story about a wedding and the story today takes place in St Oswald's Church Hall in Ashbourne around the big table that we set up for the event. Normally, of course, we go over to the church, but this story is a little bit different. We're all sitting around the big table. As parents, carers and children arrive, some of them join us at the big table. It's getting busy. All the toys are out. There's a wonderful smell of bacon sizzling away with the kitchen volunteers are busy preparing snacks and serving tea and coffee. It's very welcoming. Lindsay is going to tell the story today and as she sits at the big table she has started to tell Caroline about the story she wishes to share with the group. Caroline has some large sheets of paper and lots of pens, brushes and paints to hand. Caroline always makes the most beautiful pictures that are used to tell the story in the church later. Now it so happens that Edward has been taken to the big table where all of this is happening along with Daisy who has a drink of juice and her mum Vicky sits with her coffee which is very welcome after the busy morning taking her two older children to their schools. Vicky sits there as many of the mums do and listens to Lindsay talking to Caroline. Lindsay says... I want to tell the children about the first great miracle that Jesus did, you know, at the wedding that was taking place in Galilee, where Jesus was living with his parents. Jesus and his followers had been invited to the wedding. Caroline nodded. She knew all the stories, of course, and already was beginning to think about how she might draw a party, which is what weddings turn out to be very often. And she was so right. Lindsay continued. The party had started very well. But then some main men came up to Mary telling her that the wine had run out. Mary turned to Jesus, who I think had been enjoying the party very much. Mary didn't hesitate, but said to the men, do whatever he tells you, pointing to Jesus. Well, Jesus might have been just as surprised as the men who were now looking at him. He might not have wanted to jump into the limelight, but he had been put on the spot by his mum, and mum had spoken. Perhaps it was an unwilling Jesus, therefore, who saw six large stone water jars and said to the men, fill them with water, which they did. When they'd done this, he told them, now pour some out and take it to the man in charge of the party. As so ha often happened around this table, all those present were drawn into the story and Ed was starting to think that water would not go down very well when everyone had been enjoying wine. Edward Bear also thought that this was amazing. For the mother to know that her son could deal with his difficult situation. Could ruin the party, couldn't it? Others around the table thought that mum was taking charge of Jesus and that perhaps this might not turn out well. And others wondered what this had to do with Jesus. And could this story be true? Well, 
Lindsay went on and told Caroline that the man in charge was delighted with the wine. She went on. He said it was the best ever and thanked the men for saving the best for the last. Not knowing that Jesus had made the water into wine. This was his first miracle. So now the party could continue and everyone would remember this day for a long time. One of the mums said, there are so many ways, things that we have to do and a wedding, for a wedding, wine is so important. Another said, does it mean that Jesus does answer our prayers? Well, that was something that Edward could not think about. This Jesus was something else. Miracle maker, indeed, but so much more, he thought. And this was just but the first miracle. It was Lindsay who replied, Mary was an earthly mother. Mary knew we all had needs. And yes, Jesus was able to carry out the first of his many miracles. And all the people at the party could now see and believe in his many powers. Lindsay explained to the group that, of course, the stories about Jesus all tell of Jesus putting things right and how he got himself into some tight situations in doing so. Lindsay then changed the story and made it real for everyone by saying, It is in our praying that we tell Jesus what matters to us. We as Christians believe that we, he will listen and act, perhaps in ways that we might not understand. Caroline had been creating a wonderful picture of the story and when Lindsay had finished talking, she asked if this picture was okay to use. Everyone round the table gasped and said, yes, it's beautiful. And that was that. From this moment, Jesus went on to carry out many, many miracles. And I want to tell you about some of them in later stories. Can I show you the painting, just like the one Caroline always makes for us? Isn't it good? Thank you, Caroline. Isn't that brilliant, hey? That's absolutely lovely. <laughs> you go, Lindsay. Oh, well done, Peter. That was a really lovely story, wasn't it? That was beautiful. And it's true, you know. Thank you. It's absolutely true what Peter says about the fact that if you want to talk to Jesus and you can pray, he will listen. So if there's something you're worried about, mm. or if there's something you'd like to share with him that you love, yeah. Just take a little bit of time to tell him, even if you don't say the words, even if you just think it in your head. So before we do our last song, we're going to say a little prayer. We say every week now. So if you'd like to just close your eyes and put your hands together, I'm going to say, Dear Jesus, thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the bird. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing, and thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Amen. That's lovely. Well, the last one we do now, oh, we Lisa, blow the candle out, so we yep. just blow the candle out. Yes, there we go. Gone. <laughs> We're going to sing, if you're happy, happy and, and you know, know it, clap, clap your hands. hands. If, if you're happy and, and you know, know it, clap, clap your hands. hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, shout, I am. If you're happy and you know it, shout, I am. I am. Happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout, I am. I am. If you're happy and you know it, do or fall. I am. If you're happy and you know it, do or fall. I am. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all four. I am. Oh, Goodbye, everybody. We love seeing you. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Have a lovely weekend. And let's see you soon. Hope so. Yeah. Bye then. Bye bye.